Bananas. Bananas? Bananas. You mean bananas? Where are we? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are we, mommy? We're at Costco. And we're getting pillows and pineapples and nanners. And not wine. We're not getting wine. Yeah, we are. <laughs> mommy needs wine. Mommy needs wine. My mom's not not an alcoholic. She just likes her wine. How do you know I'm not an alcoholic? I was being nice. <laughs> Isn't that one it? Check it out. Check it out. Look at how pretty. Oh, it's a rose on the bottom. Isn't it pretty? I have one of these. It's actually pretty good. It tastes yummy. Mmm, does it taste yummy? Yeah, and I bought it because of the The bottle. rose? Yeah, the bottle. That's where I get it from, huh? Yeah, and that's how you pick books, right? Yeah, because the they're pretty. Alright, hey guys, it's me Jessica, and today I'm going to be doing the book courtship tag. I have all the books here ready to go and let's get started. So number one is Initial Attraction, a book you bought because of the cover and I'm gonna have to go with Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy and you're like Jessica what the what the heck this this cover is ugly and it's destroyed. I actually kind of bought it this way. I bought it at a used bookstore but the reason I am saying this is because there's this blurb here that says you'll be clamoring for a sequel and it's written by the one, the only, Rick Riordan. And I had just finished Sun and Neptune and so I was like, I want something Rick Riordan-esque, you know? And I don't know why I didn't read the Kane Chronicles, but I didn't. And I went to this used bookstore in Germany that was underneath this used rental movie place and I found this and I had been picking it up a while for a little while and I kept reading in the back and I was like nah and I put it away and I saw this and I was like Rick Riordan, Rick Riordan must buy this book so I bought this book based on the fact that Rick Riordan made a blurb on it not, and it's on the cover and that's the only reason I bought it and the only reason I read it and now School Dirty Pleasant is my favorite series. So thank you Rick Riordan for bumping your own series down to number two. The Husky Dirty Pleasant take number one. So number two is First Impressions, a book you bought because of the summary. And I am going with These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I love the concept of this book. I had heard mixed reviews about it. I, like just people saying that it was good and that it was alright. And um, then I read the back. And I was like, yes, this is this is a book I want to read. I love sci-fi and a survival story. That sounds awesome. So sci-fi and survival. And I got it and I loved it. I really want to continue on with this trilogy. Um, even though it's like different characters' point of views, I still want to read it. I still think it's great. And I just, I need all the other ones. And I hate that the covers look so girly because they're really not that girly books. There is some survival crap in here that is so intense. So next we got Sweet Talk, a book with beautiful writing. And I'm gonna have you guess, guess what book this is. Just guess, just, just guess. It's, it's Illuminati by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. The writing for Aiden is like the gor the most gorgeous writing I've ever read. It is amazing, it is gorgeous, the writing style is awesome. I can't say enough good things about this book. Like, you guys know my review. You guys know in almost every book tag, this book is in here. I love it so much. So, the most beautiful writing I've, yeah, just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This, this book could literally take the first three questions. Like, initial attraction, I'm like, oh my god, this book is gorgeous. And then, you know, you read it. You read the splat, and you're like, oh my god, yes. And then, you read the writing, and you're like, soulmates. First date, a first book in a series that made you want to keep reading the series, and I'm gonna go with City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. It really left you on that cliffhanger, because you're like, wait, wait. Are they brother and sister? Like, wait, what are you talking about? Valentine got away with the mortal cup. Like, what? No, the bad guy is not supposed to win right now. He's supposed to lose and we're trying to spoil his plan at every turn. Like, 
at the point I read this series, it was a point where I read a lot of books where the first book in a series was like, there was a bad guy and they end up stopping the bad guy but he will return to get his revenge type thing. So it was like Percy Jackson's School of Great Pleasant, those were the type of those were the type of books that I was reading where there was a happy ending. And so I picked up this book and I was like, what do you, wait, what do you mean that everything is not okay? Like, what? No, this can't be happening. So that, that's kind of, that was my first introduction to that kind of writing or that kind of like ending a book that way in a series. So if we're talking about in the context when I read this book, this is definitely the book that goes with the first date because I was like, Give me a city, a city of ashes, like right now. I need to be reading this. So next we got late night calls, a book that gets you up all night. And I am still currently reading this book, so I don't have the dust jacket on it. Um, but this book has kept me up till like three in the morning, just because I love reading it so much. And I'm like, I'm halfway through it. I haven't been reading a lot of it because I'm reading multiple books at once. Um, so there's that. But Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Freaking, it's gorgeous naked. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, but this book has kept been keeping me up at night just because I love it so much. I love the writing style. It's so Jane Austen-esque. Like, Marissa Meyer has literally used the word untoward. Like, who uses the word untoward? And I imagine they all have British accents. And I just love that kind of, the, the just the melding of Wonderland and that Jane Austen like Pride and Prejudice-esque feel and I love that melding of it. It's so gorgeous, it's so beautiful and I just want to keep reading this book. I'm so excited to... and I know it's gonna be sad and I know because it's the origin of the Red Queen but it's just like ah! So next we have a book called Always On Your Mind, a book you can't stop thinking about and that is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare because what the freaking hell? That ending! What? Why? Oh my god! I, I, I'm, I'm in a morning period. I'm in a book hangover over this book. I just can't even right now. Like, I still have way too many emotions. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> yeah, so definitely Lord of Shadows is always on my mind. Because I swear, like, I've just been reading book after book that makes me want to cry that has like so many like huge hits like we've got Empire of Storms we got that like thing that happened in a court of wings and ruin if you know what I'm talking about and then we've got this I'm reading Heartless which is probably gonna make me cry I'm going to be starting Shadow Me soon if Shadow Me makes me cry I swear I'm just canceling my channel and I'm not gonna read any more books because they're causing me too much emotional distress that's not gonna happen, I'm lying. That's, I'm, I'm just being dramatic. Next is getting physical. Get your mind out of the gutter. Get your mind out of the gutter. And the question is, what is a book that feels good? Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. Like, so this book is a lot shorter, like length-wise. Width-wise, width. This is length, width, no, height, length. Length-wise, this is width. Yeah, so lengthwise, it's shorter, and I love that. Like, I love the feel of this book. That's why I knew when my brother handed it to me during the Blindfolded Book Challenge, I knew exactly what book it was. Like, I knew what series it was, just because of how short it's shorter. Like, look. Look at this. It's shorter from... So, matching, matching um, spines, it's shorter this way. And you can see that, and I, I love the feel of that. I love the feel of that, so. So next is Meeting the Parents, a book you recommend to all your friends and family. I'm gonna go with Throne of Glass by Sergi Mass. I actually recommend this more to my friends than I do my, my family. I'm pretty sure my mom would like this. Mom, I think you might like Throne of Glass, but the thing is you'd probably take 50 years to read it, so I don't recommend it to you. <gasps> I'm sorry about, sorry not sorry, but mom, you still have Allegiant, and you've had that for a long time. But I, I do recommend Third of Glass. I've recommended it to Valeria, I've recommended it to Alex, um, I don't, I don't think Joy has read it. Joy, have you read this book? I know you've read the Akatar series. But I don't think you've read, picked up Throne of Glass. I love Throne of Glass. The second to last question is uh, thinking of the future. What is a book you see yourself rereading? I've been thinking a lot lately of rereading the Legend trilogy by Marie Lu because I love this trilogy. I remember loving it. I remember liking it more than I like The Hunger Games and Divergent. I just don't remember a lot of the fine details. Like I remember a lot of the first book. 
Um, second book, not so much. Third book, I only remember the ending, which made me cry. Uh, uh, so I really see myself rereading the Legend Trilogy pretty soon. So lastly is Share the Love, Who Do You Tag? Grace. Grace. Grace, it's like, is this thing on? Grace, you tagged. Like, what kind of, what kind of question is that? So, Grace, you're tagged. I will link her channel below. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below how just like crazy I am because I know I'm crazy. Subscribe to get notified when I make a new video. Also, ring that bell if you'd like to get notified immediately when the video comes out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!